9C question 14. If we have a mixture of gases, 2.14 grams of argon and 2.72 grams of krypton, in a 2.5 liter container at 25 degrees C, what is the partial pressure of each gas and the total pressure of the mixture? So um, Dalton's law of partial pressure says that in a mixture of gases, each gas exerts its own pressure and that the total pressure in the system is the sum of each individual gas. So we have to, if we have more than one gas, we have to use the ideal gas law individually for each gas. So one way that we can keep track of that is to write P of argon volume equals moles of argon times R T and pressure of krypton times the volume equals the moles of krypton times R T. So I have to solve both of these equations in order to find the pressure of argon and the pressure of krypton. The volume is the same. I don't need the volume of argon or the volume of krypton. I don't need to specify those because it's the same because they're both in the same container. So there can only be one volume of a gas if they're in the same container. Both of the gases are free to occupy the volume inside the entire container. So the volume is the same. R is the ideal gas law, so R is always the same, so it's the same between the two equations. And T, there's only one temperature. If you put a thermometer in this mixture of gases and take the temperature, there's only one temperature. You can't take the temperature of argon and the temperature of krypton, and even if you could, they would be the same. So the temperature, the average kinetic energy of both gases is the same. The only thing that's different is how much of each gas I have, how much argon and how much krypton, and therefore the pressure of each gas. So um, how do we figure out the moles? Well, we have grams. We have the mass of argon and the mass of krypton, and so using the molar mass, I can convert these to moles. So to calculate the moles of argon, we have 2.14 grams, and according to the periodic table, Argon is 39.948 grams per mole. And to find the moles of krypton, we have 2.7 2 grams and from the periodic table the molar mass is 83.798 grams per mole so let's plug these into the calculator 39.948 equals 0 0.0535 moles of argon. Kind of squished these two close together. And then 2.72 divided by 83.798, 0 0.0325 moles of krypton. All right, so we've converted the mass of each gas into the moles of each gas using the molar mass from the periodic table. Um, if these were not atoms, then we just add up the atoms that are in the chemical formula to find the molar mass. We do the same thing. Now we plug these into the ideal gas law. So we've got to solve this twice, so let's just bring this line down. And I have pressure of argon. Oops. times the volume of argon 
equals n r t. Oops, it's not what I meant to do. Equals moles of argon times rt. So if I'm trying to solve for pressure, then I'm going to divide both sides by the volume. And then I have the pressure of argon equals moles of argon divided by the volume. So we calculated that the moles are 0 0.0535 R is 0 0.082 liter atmosphere over mole K. And the temperature is 25. Remember, we have to convert these to Kelvin because I have Kelvin in the ideal gas law, or excuse me, in the ideal gas constant here. And if I need these units to cancel, K and degree C cannot cancel, so I have to convert degree C to Kelvin. And to do that, we add 273. So 298K divided by the volume, 2.5 liters. Moles in the numerator cancels moles in the denominator. Kelvin in the denominator and Kelvin in the numerator, liters in the numerator and liters in the denominator. So I'm left with atmospheres. So the pressure of argon equals Zero point five two two nine atmospheres. So I know it kind of looks like this is in the denominator for some reason of this, but I just wrote the units a little bit higher. So I just I multiply this times this times this. All right, so let's do the same thing on the other side. Pressure of krypton equals moles of krypton times RT divided by volume. Moles of krypton are 0 0.0325 R082 liter atmosphere over mole K and the temperature is the same 298 K divided by 2.50 liters mole and mole cancel Kelvin and Kelvin cancel liter and liter cancel and the pressure of Krypton equals 0 0.0325 times 0 0.082 times 298 divided by 2.5 point three one seven seven atmospheres all right so now I've determined the uh, mole, I've determined the pressure of both gases individually in the mixture, the partial pressure. And remember, the total pressure is just the sum of the partial pressures, P argon plus P krypton. So the total pressure is 0.5229 plus point three one seven seven plus point five two two nine. So the total pressure is zero point 
eight, four, zero, six atmospheres.